Hi there, it's Thursday. I'm just checking that we are live. Yes, both Insta and Facebook is live. So welcome. Uh, my name is Tanya Uester. My page Botanicomy is all about the alchemy of soothing botanic ingredients. And today we're going to be talking about a beautiful and very easy to use sort of every round or, or every day all rounder. Um, and today we're of course talking about an essential oil that again, one of my uh, top fans has requested me to talk about. So if you have an oil in mind that you know I haven't chatted about before and you would like to have a continued education about it, uh, please go ahead and pop that in the comments so I can see Lorena's just logged in. Welcome, welcome. Um, I can see there's a lot of people logged in on Facebook already, which is brilliant. If you would like me to give you a shout out, <laughs> obviously go and say something in the comments so I can see you there. Uh, Maria saying hi, so welcome to you. And today we are actually talking about an oil that Marie requested. So if you do need a specific oil um, and you need a little bit more education about that specific oil, uh, put it in the comments because then I can pull that into the sequence for the coming weeks. There are uh, still a couple, I'd say, say at least 10 to 15 essential oils in the singles range that are um, still needing a little bit of education before I complete this series and perhaps we then switch over to blend. So welcome if you've joined today. Um, we are talking about lime. Very easy to use, incredibly powerful. And I can just see that Daniel is also logged in. Welcome, welcome all the way from the UK. So really happy to have you here. I haven't seen you for a while. So uh, really good, thank you. <laughs> So we're talking about lime today, and lime is incredibly high um, in what we call aldehyde, um, the chemical constituent aldehydes. Um, Melody Hicks is saying lime is one of her favorites too. I think we're gonna have a lot of people that have lime as one of their favorites. It's an incredible oil. It's just, it's beautiful. It smells amazing. And there's a lot of health benefits <laughs> when you're going to start using it. Hello, Catherine, I can see you've also just logged in. Welcome, <clears throat> really awesome as the numbers start creeping up. So yes, let's get started with lime. It's very high in what we call aldehydes, chemical constituents. So when we look at aldehydes, what benefits and supporting benefits they have for our body is when you use them aromatically, they're usually very calming, relaxing, and protecting. Some of them are even um, energizing as well. Uh, Daniel is saying he loves lemon and a lime combo. I, I uh, sent some cocktails coming up with that combination, most definitely, or even some macarons. I used to bake gluten-free um, macarons with uh, lemon and lime in them. Yo, they were delicious, <laughs> let me just tell you now. <laughs> so yes, let's talk about uh, lime today. Um, oh, Colette saying thank you so much for the gut health class, such a pleasure. Uh, gut health is my passion, as you all know, and I did a very nice continued education class uh, which is obviously a perk when, you, when you're part of doTERRA. Um, we have amazing continued education sessions where we make sure people know how to use their oils and which resources are, are really creditable um, to decide which oils you want to use. And we had an amazing gut oil class this week. Um, it was quite nerve-wracking for me because it was a Zoom that reached almost three people, uh, 300 people on that session. So it was very exciting for me um, to be able to share my passion so freely with so many people that were interested to learn how they could use essential oils um, supportingly to improve their gut health. So that's exactly what uh, uh, Colette's talking about there. So thank you for bringing that up. Um, so let's get back to lime, uh, the topic of today. So oils that are high in the, monoter the aldehydes, um, the monoterpene aldehyde specifically, um, as I said, calming, relaxing, and protecting. Topically, if you start using them, uh, they can um, really support um, your skin to look slightly better if you've got a lot of blemishes, for example. So it promotes healthy looking skin. The thing we do need to watch out for um, when we are using citrus oils, however, is if you do apply them topically, to not go into the sun within the next 12 hours because um, the citrus essential oils are actually photosensitive. So they can cause additional sensitization to your skin, perhaps additional pigmentation. Um, definitely not something we want to promote, especially if we're using it to make our skin look healthier. So if you are going to be applying citrus oils topically, do it in the evening before bed, preferably, um, and not in the morning before you're going to go out into the South African sun. If you are in the UK like Daniel, um, probably indoors most of the time, there's an occasional day of sun, as I know Daniel tells me every now and then in the UK. Um, but even for those 
occasional days of sanding. Uh, just be warned, don't put it on topically um, and, and slather it on your, your um, facial skin, for example, and then go out for a day of tanning in a park or something. Not a good idea. Um, otherwise, it's incredibly beneficial um, uh, oil for the skin. Um, it's also very cleansing um, because of the, the chemical constituents that are in there. I can also see that earth 2 body ZA has just logged in. Welcome, welcome. So uh, yeah, let's see um, how many people we can get on. Obviously, feel free to share if you find the information useful because there's a lot of people that would like to learn about essential oils and all my classes are free. Um, so really <laughs> worthwhile getting them involved. I can also see Sonia's just logged in. Welcome. All right, so let's get started. So we've talked about the aromatic being really cool. Um, topical, um, so topical reducing the, the look of blemishes. Um, and then also we started talking about uh, keeping the skin looking healthy. I think a, a, a very important point specifically about Lyme is that it's incredible in supporting oral health and um, hygiene. So uh, definitely a good essential oil if you are um, oil pulling at, at all. Definitely a good essential oil to be adding to your coconut oil swishing in your mouth in the morning or even if you're going to be adding it to your toothpaste. Um, then we're going to go over to um, the, the warming sensation that it can give to the skin. Yes, it's a citrus oil, but because of the chemical constituents, lime may feel slightly warming to the skin. When you're using a food grade oil um, that is definitely on the label saying that you can use it as supplemental um, on an internal basis, then you can use them to support um, your body's immune system because they're incredibly high in antioxidants. Um, and obviously all the citrus oils also have very cleansing properties. So always just check that label first. If you're not using a tested grade essential oil where the label says and gives you the instructions of how to use internally and it says not internal, don't do it internal. It means the oil hasn't been tested and it's not safe to be used internally. Okay, the labels are there for a reason. Um, but if you are using that tested grade oil, lime is going to be incredible in supporting internal cleansing. Um, and then obviously the antioxidant support. And we need the antioxidant support because of all the toxins that we're exposing our bodies to on a daily basis. Um, we need to help our bodies. Um, and our, our world is not going to become more and more toxin free. In fact, I think it's probably going to get a little bit worse um, as pollution carries on, as they start adding more emulsifiers and preservatives and things to our foods to incre increase the shelf life. Um, all the other toxins that we use in our homes when we clean them. Definitely, if you want to learn about using low toxin, um, chemical free sort of home cleaners, uh, there's a lot of continued education about that as well, where you can incorporate essential oils um, to, to try and decrease the toxic load. So uh, let's get on to the top uses specifically for Lyme because it's got properties that are anti-inflammatory. So thinking here, muscle joints, um, those kind of discomfort areas. It's also very antiseptic. So really good to clean your home with it. That's because of the, the um, limonene, of course, and there's also a lot of other chemical constituents in there. Um, it's very high in antioxidant power, as I said, so really good in supporting the immune system especially if you're going to be using the food grade one internally. Also very antibacterial, um, it's a tonic. So when we think of tonic, it's tonifying certain areas in your body and tonic makes it stronger. So for example, we lift weights to tonify the muscles in our arms. So that's what the word tonic would mean here. Incredibly uplifting. One of the top constituents in lime essential oil is limonene. And limonene is responsible for making us feel good. Um, it's also very heavily involved in the adrenaline and the noradrenaline neurotransmitter cycle. So uh, incredibly amazing oil to be using when you're a little bit more stressed than you should be and your cortisol levels are shooting up. Um, lime is going to be a really good one to try out aromatically. It's also a diuretic and there's a lot of research showing that if you're using lime oil um, as a supportive measure when you're including it for example in, a, in an eating plan where you're already eating a little bit more healthily um, you're incorporating a lot more exercise into your daily regime and you're really trying to to incorporate healthier habits then it can form part of a very nice weight loss um, sort of regimen so uh, lime has got a lot of benefits in that arena so 
because it's so good for oral care um, because of that antibacterial um, benefit that it has it's a really good essential oil for example to use as a throat wash when there's a slight discomfort in the back of your throat even when you're coughing um, it's also very good respiratory wise so very good one to add in your diffuser um, and you don't always have to have an amazing cold air diffuser around you can also become a human diffuser by putting a drop in your hand and rubbing your hands together um, and inhaling deeply um, if I can just tell you it's it's obviously a it's a very citrus oil but it almost is very um, it's leaning to the grapefruity side where it's got a almost floral note to the citrus which really is just absolutely amazing <laughs> Um, it's got a, a lot of benefits when we start looking at people who feel very exhausted, who need a little bit of a pick-me-up. So um, combining lime, for example, with peppermint by putting a drop of peppermint in the one hand and, and, and lime in the other and for um, putting your hands together and rubbing it. And again, human diffuser in yourself and cupping the nose and inhaling. It's going to give you that energy boost in the afternoon when you really, really need it. Um, you know, I always say instead of that 10th cup of coffee, try adding some essential oils into your daily routine so that you can uh, lower the toxins, but still get the benefits um, of, of feeling uplifted and energized all at the same time. So here's a, a, a really interesting one. Because it is so antiseptic and it's so high in antioxidants, it is very supportive to the immune system. So here, start thinking about things that may invade your body that you don't necessarily want there. Um, so a lot of childhood diseases um, where you sort of get a, a lot of itchy little thingies on your, on your skin, for example, um, all those conditions that are usually a part of a viral infection get a lot of support when you're using essential oils that are very geared to support the immune system. And um, if you just think about what's going on at the moment in the environment, obviously using essential oils with antivi um, antiviral chemical constituents in there are really going to be incredibly supportive to your immune system. And lime, very high on the scale there for that specific, um, specific area. Um, especially if you start thinking about the sores that some people get around their mouth. Now, please do remember if you are going to be applying it topically, it's going to be really beneficial. Not a good idea to go into the sun then. So always then apply definitely um, rather at night just before you go to bed. Um, as we said, it's got very nice anti-inflammatory properties, which is not something you normally associate with the citrus oil specifically. Um, so definitely this is a nice one to add if you are going to give yourself a nice body massage after a heavy workout, especially in your leg area, if you are feeling some discomfort in your muscles um, specifically. And then I think the biggest part and the biggest um, emotional benefit from Lyme is the uplifting part. So it's almost like um, that tonic that I was talking about. It's, it's like it removes toxic thoughts from your heart specifically, if I can go um, just very esoteric in a sense there. It, it literally just lifts that heaviness, right? So the negative and toxic thoughts that I, I think a lot of people are experiencing, and, and the more you think about them, the more they go around your head and then the more negative your world becomes around you. Um, so Lyme can sort of get you out of that cycle. Uh, so definitely a good one to have around in your diffuser to move from feeling um, faint and toxic, for example, to feeling energized and very enlivened and incredibly possible. So um, positive, I should say. So the possibility of moving forward instead of feeling stuck in all that negative behavior and negative thought patterns. So Lyme is really good for that um, emotionally. Um, but I think the most favorite part for me about using lime is in all my cooking. I am an absolute lime fanatic when it comes to my cooking. I really favor Thai, um, Thai um, sort of spices and, and chili and things. And one of my absolute favorite dishes when I went to Thailand a couple of years ago, hopefully we can travel soon so I can get, go again. I've got on my, on my wall there, I want to do a Thailand squared. In other words, a second time because I just had such an amazing experience while I was there. But the flavors from Thailand, um, lime is in almost all of their food. So when I, for example, am cooking my very favorite Thai coconut soup, which has chicken in it um, and a lot of lemongrass, it almost goes flat if there's no lime in it. And we all, can't always get lime in South Africa. So a top tip here is after you've prepared the dish and you've already switched off the stove, so there's no more heat being added, 
add a couple of drops of lime to that Thai coconut soup and it's just going to absolutely uplift all the flavors and really make you feel like you're sitting in Thailand eating a really authentic Thai dish. Um, I also love adding it to desserts. So um, it's got it's going to be that sort of um, zing that you get like uh, when you're using lemon, but it's almost got a sweeter tang to it. So that's why it does so well specifically in desserts. And if you're using my favorite brands with um, essential oil, then it actually is the key lime. The species of the lime essential oil um, is key lime. And you all know what key lime pie is. It's, it's a very well-known dessert um, in America. So it, that is why it's got, a, it's got a nice lemony tang to it. Um, but with a little bit more sweetness. So it's really beautiful in desserts. And here's another very nice recipe, for example, if you're someone that eats a lot of avo, because avo, really good fats, keeps you fuller for longer. So especially if you're on that weight loss thing, um, adding some lime to avo is really tasty. So either making a guacamole or simply just smooshing up some avo and adding two drops of lime to that with your salt and your pepper, nothing else needed. Sometimes I add a little bit of olive oil, but not even necessary because the, the avo is so, so nice and oily already. So good, um, good fats for your body. Um, and then smoosh it up and put that on a nice piece of toast if you can eat bread, if you're like me and you can't do gluten or eggs, um, a nice piece of vegan gluten-free toast, really, a really amazing combination all right so lime is incredible very good for the mood really good cleansing properties for the skin um, also really good cleansing properties for inside your body if you're going to be using them internally um, but in cooking get it out go and put your lime oil ready in the kitchen because that is probably where you're going to be using it most yes in your diffuser is really amazing um, but for me my absolute favorite is adding lime to my cooking and always at the end when you switched off the heat or for example in a smoothie or on top of avo smushed um, as i've just explained to you so i hope you learned a little bit extra about lime today it's a firm favorite it's so easy to use um, and if there's any other essential oil that you know I haven't talked about, if you missed the, the beginning part of today, obviously please just go ahead and put in the comments which oil you would like me to talk about next. Um, and then I'll see you guys all again next week, Thursday. For you all um, that are going away on Easter, e Easter weekend, uh, please be safe, please drive safe um, and keep your immune system safe. And now you know lime is an essential oil that you could probably add to your daily wellness routine to improve your immune system and support your immune system um, when you do definitely need to be safe. So catch you all next week. Thank you so very much. Uh, Marie, we did not talk about cocktails today. Um, I'm going to have a, a very special season of se or series coming very soon where we're going to be talking specifically about things like cocktails and cooking and all those kind of things. So I'm going to definitely start incorporating the lime into that series instead of going on a tangent today but definitely a good essential oil if you want to try it in a glass of soda water for example just mix it up really nicely so the oil doesn't float on top so see you all next week thank you for joining bye bye <laughs>